Hey guys! Unfortunately, being up in Canada, our season isn't terribly long. It's already starting to wind down. We did have a 10 by 20 frame tent to go up on a trailer that they were using as kind of like a stage. It's just the mill right so that was the weekend and you know, we had fun. I'm glad there's a little bit of work still to be had here and there, but things will generally start winding down. As you all know, the current world situation is kind of getting, uh, at least for the season, as the temperature decreases, you know, uh, a little bit worse. I don't want to use the C word, but you, you all know what I'm talking about. And so maybe things will start winding down in warmer climates as well. I don't know. They certainly have up here. But I still want to keep myself very, very busy. And, and this is kind of my trick. I don't know if you have one. I know if I don't do this, things don't get done nearly as fast as if I do do this. And I know that's kind of general getting things done, but what I do is I write down specifics of what I want with a deadline. So for example, I do want to grow this business. How do you grow this business? By getting things done. That's the whole point of this channel, really growing this event rental business. So for example, I want to make some bars, like some mini portable bars um, to rent out in the springtime. Of course, we'll, we would be happy to rent them out now or in the wintertime after completion, but most likely they're going to be renting, rented out during the uh, coming spring, coming summer. So I want to make a few more of these. And what do I do? Well, I could just say, okay, I'll make some of these. And maybe in two, three months, they will happen. But what I do is I write down, make two bars, like a list, Lists are great. Make two bars in a specific amount of time. And I actually set those deadlines pretty tight in order for things to really progress in the business. Here's an example. SpaceX, Tesla, what do they have in common? They have Elon Musk. But what else do they have in common? They set ridiculous deadlines. And yes, they almost never reach those deadlines, but they, they get further towards that goal than anybody else in the industry. They're far ahead the other car manufacturers. In, in terms of SpaceX, they're, they're far ahead in other um, rocket company um, services manufacturers. And I think partially, and again, this works for me, is that they set pretty high goals. I'm not saying set impossible goals. I mean, I don't completely agree with them, but they set really high goals and therefore that forces a lot of innovation um, and progression and growth in their business. So that's kind of what I wanna do here. Instead of just relaxing during the winter time, although I will take a few days for sure here and there to just spend with my family. Um, I do, when I am working, for the 12 hours between Monday and Friday, most Mondays and Fridays, or most weekdays between Monday and Friday, including Monday and Friday, <laughs> I will try to work as hard as I can. Because I know in the wintertime when there's no one here, nothing's going on, it's very, very easy to slack off. And so what I'm going to do is set really tight deadlines for things I want to accomplish. I want to make some, like I said, portable bars. That's a real thing, what I want to do. Um, in fact, we have one... Anyway, um, I will showcase. You can see one peeking out from there. I want to make photo booths. I want to do a lot of things. I want to get stuff done. I want to grow this business and I want to create better systems. I want to organize this place, clean this place. And I know the only way that that will happen is if I set a lot, like a list of goals and have them time have deadlines for each of those goals and you know they'll be the first week the second week the third week and that will that will force me to get things done i know in the past if i forget to do that if i don't do it nothing really gets done it just gets it just gets like it takes forever and so i think or you know i don't think that works for me what works for you i don't know maybe that doesn't work for you but that's just just quick tip uh, what I do here to get stuff done. I know that sounds very general. Um, let me know what you think. 
Let me know if something else works for you. Let me know maybe you don't care. <laughs> maybe you just throw money at it and uh, people do stuff for you. Uh, but having lists with tight deadlines really, really helps me get stuff done. And before I go, huge, huge shout out to, I'm looking for like bigger tents now, 40 by 60s, 40 by 80s, most likely in pole tent form. And Jordan from Century Tents and Events down in the States, uh, Southern States. I think he's from Texas, but oh, man, I can't forget now. But anyway, um, he has a YouTube channel. I know he wants to grow it. So check it out, link in the description. And he does a lot of tents, a lot of bigger tents. So if you're looking uh, for advice on tents, frame tents, pole tents, Keter style tents, he is the guy to, to, to watch because there's some really good information in his videos. And even though, you know, he's kind of under the radar, um, even though the videos aren't highly edited, he knows what he's talking about more than probably any of us in terms of bigger tents. By I mean, by, by any of us, I mean the people that are typically kind of vlogging right now. But anyways, I'm rambling. Check him out. Um, link in the description. Uh, again, if you're anything to do with tents, uh, he's a must subscribe. Guys, take it easy. We'll see you later and uh, work hard.